Hello, my name is Helena. I'm a singer, dancer, songwriter, etc. And I've never posted consistently on YouTube, so this is Helena 2.1. I guess this is a welcome to my channel video. I'm new to all this, I've got some notes. For the past five years, I've been on a self-improvement happiness project journey and I have learned a lot. Trialing and erroring different things, reading different self-help books, doing courses, going to seminars, having mentors, just doing my own reading and research and doing things. And I basically realized the three following things about self-improvement and changing your life and changing your mindset. Number one, nothing will change unless you actually want it to change. I know that sounds so obvious, but I used to have a victim mentality mindset where a lot of bad stuff would happen. I'm mainly as a teenager and I would sit there and think, oh, why does all these bad stuff keep happening to me? I must be so unlucky. I'm the victim basically. And the more I believed that, the more bad stuff kept happening and it just kept going round and round in spirals. And I realized that it was because I was expecting all this bad stuff to happen that I was inviting it in and I was subconsciously kind of attracting all this bad stuff to me because I was thinking bad stuff happens, bad stuff happens. So all the bad stuff just kept happening because I wasn't even looking out for the good stuff. I didn't want anything good to happen. Um, consciously you'd be like of course I want good stuff to happen but unless you actually want to change nothing is gonna change for you so you need to be the front runner of that number two is that knowing what you want so you can start moving and grooving in that general direction so I wrote down this random analogy that I just made up I'm gonna share with you so imagine that you're on a massive great big field and surrounding it is all of these trees and they all have different fruits on them, right? And you're just walking around on the field and you never try any of the fruits that are growing on the trees so you don't know what fruits you like or don't like. So you need to go and try out some fruits, maybe grab an apple, grab a pear, grab a mango. And then you'll figure out like what fruits you love and that are really juicy and amazing and what fruits are bitter and that really aren't for you. And that is basically my analogy of saying, if you don't have a passion in life or if you're stuck with figuring out what you wanna do, um, you can try a bunch of different things. Try the fruits. <laughs> this is really advice that I wish that I'd heard when I was going on this journey. I was just sat at home not doing anything, watching Netflix or watching YouTube videos all day and being like, oh. I wish there was something that I enjoyed instead of trying things. And then I started going to dance classes, and I started singing and making music, and then I was like, oh, that's what I wanna do. And I always knew that that was what I liked, but I never tried it, so I didn't know if I actually liked it or if it was just a dream thing in my head that I really wanted to happen. And I never allowed the space to try it, so try things again really basic but this is stuff that i wish that someone had told me when i was 16 and struggling and finally is that when you find a passion and you have that purpose just don't be afraid to go all in i used to be so scared of putting myself out there because i'd sit there and think i'm not good at what i like to do I don't have any experience, I've not done it professionally, so who am I to like put myself out there? And in reality, no one cares. <laughs> you should just put yourself out there because what's the worst that will happen? No one will watch you, okay? Then you've got this for yourself. Um, or if people say stuff, they're not your real friends. And hopefully, when you start putting yourself out there, you'll make the right kind of friends and you'll meet people doing similar things that you love doing. So you'll have a whole community of people that love doing what you love. And that'll just be amazing. So put yourself out there and don't be afraid to do it because now I'm 21, nearly 22. And if I just started and gone all in when I knew 
what my passions were and when I knew exactly what I wanted to do. Maybe I'd be a lot further along and not be at the starting line right now, but I didn't. So I can only speak from experience and if I'd gone all in, who knows? But I don't know what's gonna happen now and I've decided to go all in today. <laughs> Those are three things that I've learned along my journey of just <laughs> being a human and trialing things and failing. All that to say, my main goal in life right now is to move back to London. I used to go to drama school in London and it was amazing. I loved being in London. I didn't love the school as much just because of different experiences that happened at the school. That's a whole other story. But I loved London and I went out there and I met so many people and I decided that I was gonna learn to dance. I've never really done it before and it's only been one year since I started and I love it. And same as music, I never really did it. I always knew that I liked it, but I never did it until about a year ago as well. This is a new chapter because I wanna put myself out there and I'm not gonna be afraid to do that anymore. So this is the big leap because um, the hardest step is to just get started really so this is me getting started <laughs> and I've got a lot of videos lined up four times a week I'm gonna be posting which sounds like a lot but consistency has always been my biggest struggle so I'll go all in for a second and then stop so I really just want to be consistent I'm gonna be posting on Sundays Tuesdays, Thursdays and Fridays at 8am GMT time, it's British time. I'll be posting music, dance videos, lifestyle videos and talky videos. If you want to come join me, please do. You can follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on YouTube, all that good stuff. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in a couple of days. Woo!